Match day one of the Men's Hockey League for 2016-17 and East Grinstead play host to the side that finished third in the table last year, Reading. Nick Catlin, a former Reading player, now plays for East Grinstead after two years with Holcomb. Well, before this match gets underway, both sets of players will observe a moment's silence for Ravi Chowdhury, the Reading and England photographer who sadly passed away this week. Penalty corner, Springham will inject, and here comes Mantel, good save, and Springham couldn't quite get on the end. Patrick Smith plunging down to his right-hand side and onto the foot of Springham. Catlin shifts it to his left, and it comes, and all the way through, and scored by Sam Driver. Nine minutes into the new season, and East Grinstead have the lead. As the ball is fired in, Gets a little deflection and it falls to Driver who gives Alexander no chance. Reading down this right hand side. Ball fired across and here's an opportunity. Oh, it's wide of the mark. It was a lovely ball in. And all unmarked is Carson but he drives it into the ground and wide. Here is Catlin again, who is dispossessed and bringing it away is Shingles. Shingles still going. Lovely work from Dan Shingles. Dan Shingles, can he go all the way? Yes, he can. What a wonderful individual goal from Dan Shingles, the Reading captain. Picking it up in the midfield, he drove through the centre of the park, through the heart of the East Grinstead defence, and no one could get anywhere near him and a fine finish to make it one all. Here come Reading again. The ball oh, is being turned back over. This is Carson. Down the right hand side. Oh, the cross has been miss hit. Carson again. Oh, that is a good opportunity. Watch here. The cross miss hit. Keeper's already gone to ground. He pats it back into Carson. And somehow they manage to keep it out. EG looking for the first goal of this second half. This is Schenk. Schenk plays it back up to Catlin, who drives in that channel. It's gone all the way through and into the goal, and the umpire has given the goal. Andy Piper celebrating. Reading saying they don't think he got a touch. The two umpires having a chat, and the decision from Bruce Bell is that it's no goal. On the replay, let's have a look. Catlin driving down that left channel, plays it in. Gets a touch. Looks like it's off a Reading stick. So you'd have to say that that is the right decision. Penalty corner. And it comes. Looking for the deflection. And a penalty stroke has been awarded. Johnny Gooch saying it's come off his stick. But Bruce Bell has given the penalty stroke. Faulkner. Can he beat Alexander? No, he can't. Alexander with a wonderful save off to his left-hand side. Maintains parity. Another penalty corner for East Grinstead. And it comes. It goes to Catlin. Catlin. Oh, he's beaten Tommy Alexander. And restores East Grinstead's lead. Catlin against his former club. Makes it East Grinstead 2, Reading 1. He had ample of time. Alexander, I think, will be disappointed. Mantel, across to Gooch, this is Shingles, good reach to keep it in play by Springham, in it comes and it's turned in on the far post by Edward Carson. Wonderful build up from Reading. Springham, full stretch to keep it alive, plays the ball across the circle. A little skip takes it past the keeper, but Carson turns it in to level things up. Is there to be a winning goal here? No is the answer. That is the full-time whistle, and it's honours shared here at East Grinstead.
East Grinstead 2, Reading 2. The visitors twice coming from behind to secure the draw.